New day, new day, new day, new day, new day. Yeah. You know, I I I, I change, I switch stuff up. Y'all hear me switching stuff up. If you come to the channel and you 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 experiencing a lot of different switches, this you're just experiencing things. This is how people find themselves. This is how people get into their niche. This is how people find exactly what and how they want to do what they do. All right, so the new day thing. New day, new day. I used to say good day, good day, new day. Only reason why I say good day because I, I was saying that on my Instagram for wild years. So that's for anybody who felt like I was copying them. No, I'm not going to say you was copying me, but I've been doing it. See, one thing I want people to realize in this world and this is not what I came to do this video about, but I just want to tell y'all something real quick. One thing I realized in this world is nothing is new under the sun. Nothing is new under the sun. And yeah, we're all guilty of in some way, form or fashion, feeling like somebody copied off of us. In all reality, it ain't nothing new under the sun. Ain't nothing your ass can say that somebody already ain't said. So it's no disrespect to nobody if, if we, 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 we use the same words or if somebody else used the same words as me. I'm gonna let it go in a little bit, kind of let it go because people understand that and this is why they copy it. Good. Now, today, mm, mm, mm. y'all gonna love it. Got a little more of me. Yeah, y'all gonna love it. Need a little more of me. Your pack with the stacks. Yo. The guy that murdered Chink's drugs he was in court. He got an ass hole full of time. Yeah. Got an ass hole full of time. Why am I making a video about this? Because it's, it's time. It's time for me to show y'all a little bit of the other side. Because you got people out here that's constantly promoting violence, promoting gangsterism. Now, yeah, I know it's not it's not interesting. It's not interesting to you. You want to see? You want to come up here? You want to see this? You want to see the thing, boy? You want to see? You want to see something going wrong? That's what people want to see. They want to see something going wrong out here. You know. That's just, I told y'all in the last video, this is the devil's world. This is the devil's playground right here. So if you around here, if you over here, know you in the devil's playground. Okay? It's real out here, yo. So Chink, Chink's Drugs murder, the guy who murdered Chink's Drugs in Queens, where I'm from. Right over there on the Van Wick. Right over there uh, going towards the courthouse. Right over there. We know the area. If you're from Queens, you know the area. The Jets Hotel right across the street. Remember, the, remember that? The Jets? The Jets Hotel. All that over there. Yeah. Hillside, right there. Right there. You see it. The gas station's right there on the corner. You see it. Y'all see the vision? Yeah, he killed Chinks right over there. For what? For what? It's not weed.
but what? Jealousy. Jealousy. It's a shame. But this is what we're dealing with out here. And a lot of times the things that happen don't be happening for no reason. That happens for jealousy. You got jealousy. Jealousy is a mother, man. Jealousy. Twenty shakes while he was sitting in his car. Foxite Lindishman is at Queens Criminal Court where the sentence was just handed down and Lindish Chase's family was there for this. His wife. We don't we don't get good wives. Yeah, and his wife, by the way, was when we get a good wife today. you're gonna hear from her in just a few minutes, but first of all, prison There's always some bull crap connected to it. Doing his thing. Out of jealousy. Go ahead and take a look Hold at on. this Quincy Home Air. Hold on. Criminal court today, where the next couple of decades he is accused of killing a rapper from Queens who was on the rise. And he did it out of jealousy. Go ahead and take a look That's what I want y'all to hear. He did it out of jealousy. He has the nerve to come to the courtroom. With a with a with a with a with a with a mask on. We're in a mask at the wrong time. Okay, you got the mask on at the wrong time. The piece of fool. What did you kill another black man for? Jealousy? Cause he was rapping. Oh, I know that nigga, or this, that, and the third, or whatever the dealings they had. Now look, I'm showing y'all this for a reason. Because his face don't look happy. And it's not going to look happy for an extremely long time. Do you know how it is to be in a situation where you were in a bad situation so long that you just got to get used to it and try to find a smile. Oh, shoot. And this channel, this is going to be one of the biggest, I predict, my prediction, this is going to be one of the, I'm going to be one of the biggest YouTubers on social media. That's my prediction. I'm going to say it right here so it could be received, so it could be proof. So when it go down, Everybody say, yo, he said that. Yeah, it's bad, boy. See, I, 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 yo, it connects to a lot of stuff that goes on on YouTube. When you see these gangsters promoting that gangster, promoting that style, promoting that body language, promoting like they like, they like that. They're lying. They don't like that. They don't like that. They're lying. It's a lie. Just like 95% of the stuff that comes out of their mouth is a real lie. You got to know a game type person from the hood. A game type person from the hood ain't really talking about nothing. They ain't saying nothing. Everything they talk about is game. The slang, the way they said the word, every gesture is slang or an attempt to make you feel a certain way about them. That works on a, a lot of people, bro. It works on so many people that it's worth doing it. Because the percentage of the people that it don't work on is so small that it don't matter. It don't matter. So you just do it because the percentage of the people that's going to go for it is real high. So you got to understand when these guys come on social media and talk about prison and years and decades in jail, a place that we all know nobody wants to be. 
a place that we all know nobody wants to be. Let me say it again. A place that we all know nobody wants to be, but they'll pretend like they don't care about it. Like it don't really do nothing. It don't matter if it's here. It don't matter if it's in his house smoking weed, or if it's in his bends on the highway, or if he's in prison sitting there twiddling his thumbs. It doesn't matter to him. Whether we well whether we whether he's like this, yo, some of these guys don't even drive. Some of these guys don't even got no cars. Don't listen to them. Some of these guys don't even got a license. Some of these guys don't know how to drive. What are you talking about? Come in the real world, you see these guys as bozos. Stand them up in a group of people. Go to a barbecue with a bunch of different people on different levels of life and you'll realize at that moment <laughs> how nothing they are. You realize, you say, oh, shoot. Oh, yo. It's like, it's like a hustler. Sometimes you could be a hustler and making money and you could be doing stuff in life and the guy at McDonald's, that work at McDonald's got everything more to you. You run circles around him. But his overall life, when you go in his life, he has everything, that's all his necessities, everything is done. And you missing shit. Yeah, it'd be like that sometime out here. If you're a bozo hustler, or if you, or you not, you're bonding, right? You ain't focused the way you're supposed to be, you're losing. It'd be a lot of smoke and mirrors, bro. I don't want to be the person leaning on the stuff that I've, the, uh, people and stuff that I did, and a bunch of uh, uh, things that can't pay a bill. I don't give a, I don't care about a whole bunch of stuff that can't pay a bill, that you can't spend. I don't care about nothing that you can't spend. If you coming around showing me a bunch of stuff that you can't spend, that's just like some invisible some invisible money or some invisible props or some invisible a thing it's just a thought a thought a, a thought <laughs> yo some people understand what I'm saying right now some don't that's just what it is man. if you don't understand I forgive you if you don't understand you're not on that type of level Hey, I ain't holding nothing against you, man. To the people that understand what I'm talking about, they like, yo, I'm tapped in, yo. I know exactly what Pack with the Stacks be talking about. Those are the people I'm talking to. Those are the, those are the only people I'm talking to. Yeah. You got to be crazy. You know, King's drug murder suspect. He got 23 years. Couple of decades. A rapper from Queens who was on the rise, and he did it out of jealousy. Go ahead and take a look at this. Quincy Homer in Queens Criminal Court today, where he was sentenced for killing rapper Chinks, whose mm -hmm. real name is Lionel Pickens Jr. Now Homer, choosing to wear a face mask for his sentencing today, he had pled guilty to first-degree manslaughter. Now this is vid a previous video of him in court without a face mask. He was sentenced to 23 years See how they in prison do you? for killing Chinks. Chinks was sitting in his luxury car, stopped at a red light 
when Homer fired multiple shots into his car back in 2015. All right, was married, his father of three children, illest. his wife pushed for justice for her husband since he was murdered back in 2015. She spoke in court today, as I said earlier, and so did the shooter. So that's the end result when these guys talk all that. Yo, where you at? I'm popping, I'm popping to my dad. You fronting. You don't want to be there. You ain't like that. Look at his face. Look, He's sitting there. His problems ain't even begin yet. Wow. 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 His problems didn't even begin yet. Wow. Wow. That's the end result. Don't listen to these guys on YouTube beforehand talking all that, all that trash. Because they don't want to live that life. We all know that. You know... It's only fair. I played. I played one. I gotta play the other. It's only fair. It's only right. You know. But I just wanted to show y'all and tell y'all, chill, bro. Chill. You don't. You don't want that. You don't want that problem. I played one. Now I'm gonna play the other. Yesterday, y'all heard me with the go to the yesterday's video. Look at that. Look at all my videos y'all missed. Deep stuff said in it. Here we go. Let him have his peace. Shall we begin? Yo, guys, it's going to be harder than you. For you to do what you did to previous people on YouTube. Shall we begin? To zip. It's gonna be a little harder for you. Right. So now there's a penalty on my page, which they've been slow on my page now. It is what it is. I got over a billion views on my page. Over a billion views. 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 Over it's safe to say that I can go down in the YouTube Walk of Fame, the Hollywood Walk of Fame, the YouTube Walk of Fame as the best of the best. You're climbing because it's me. See, this is the thing, right? Where you can't defeat me, and the reason why you can't defeat me is because when I was sitting on the screen, <laughs> while you not entertained, while I was sitting on the screen, you was at home, fresh out of jail. Trying to figure out what direction you was gonna go in your family life. Oh God! Everybody before you and your family, brother, they failed. Even so much to the point to where that the same police that locked your uncle up and your daddy up. Oh! <laughs> all that time you and your brother had to grow up to become grown men. Your family could have saved y'all from the same hell body. But the same people that failed them old niggas failed you and your brother too. And here comes a song again. The Messiah. Preaching the ghetto gospel on YouTube. Then you see me up there. Comes in my DM. Reaches mm. out to me. Mm. <laughs> and came on my life.
<laughs> zip. <laughs> zip. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, zip. <laughs> and you said I bought your dick. <laughs> Bro. Bro, what are you talking about? I'm on your dick. Damn, bro. You came home to nothing. <laughs> you got some nerve. The nerve of you. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yo, bro. I signed this, right? You came home to nothing, Jack. Stupid pictures of other people's money. <laughs> you tried to answer our sound with that? Acting like that was your response? To prove that you was getting money before you you before he put before he fed you? Wrong. We don't accept that answer right there. Now your jokes is funny. Your jokes is hilarious with that shit as far as going at him. But nigga, don't forget. Hassan birthed you. This is what you're gonna live with <laughs> forever. Yeah. See? Everybody birthed somebody. Don't feel like you, but see, there's nothing wrong with somebody birthing you. There's something wrong with when the world got to witness you going at them like that, in that manner. That's what's, and then you got to go back and sit back and know you went at the person who put you on. That's where the pain comes. If you understand what I'm trying to tell you, God. Uh, You know what I'm saying? That's where the pain come from. He put you on. This is your history. It's part of your, it's part of your story. It's part of your legacy. If anything happened, if you get some money, or you don't get some money, it's gonna be part of your story. It's the way it is, buddy. So you can't get out of that. Stop trying to shake that. The more you try to shake it, it's like a pit bull locking on you. The more you try to shake it, the more that it's clamped. All you're doing is making it more clamped. Stop wiggling. You heard? That's what it is. So you can't do YouTube with nothing, bro. Just say, yo, how'd you put me on? That's it. Thank you. That's it. That's how, that's the only way out. Yeah, we know you coming up with the numbers and if you add it up with the subscribers and the views you're doing great you can even say you're doing a little better if you add it up from that I know we all know what you're talking about you're right but don't pursue being better than Hassan pursue being better than the guy with 10 million subscribers don't worry about Hassan he's the guy who put you on don't make him your target. That's where you're going wrong. So I'm gonna help you. My foot is on your neck, but I'm gonna help you at the same time. Because I want you to know it's love. It's tough love. They call it tough love. That's what I got for you. For you niggas. Tough love. You heard? Since you wanna play stupid games. You like playing dumb games. So since you wanna play in the games, play the game, I'm gonna play. I got tough love. People that want to know, that's on YouTube, want to know why, why is he doing that? I'll tell you in a minute. Let's listen to him.
stuff he's talking to you, bro, about. But Hassan, flip side, you took everything from me. You took a lot from me, brother. And you resent that. And that's why you told me to come up to your show and then didn't do it. You got the other guy, you got... <laughs> I'll be laughing. But that's why you, 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 you I was supposed to call, it's, it, it's a lot y'all don't know about. That we're going to get into. So don't, don't do too much of that hard. It's YouTube. People don't know. So y'all don't know. I got videos coming for y'all. I'm going to show y'all. I just wanted to feel y'all and what's going on. Find more time to sit around on this phone. But just remember one thing: if I love you, 